Welcome to Indiana Diecast Racing. Today we're following the action from Round 1, Group 8. This group features a power foursome, two Ferraris, the black version of the 1970 Dodge Challenger, and a Mercedes GT-style car. I would trade in my Camry and take any one of these cars home. The two Ferraris are two of my older Hot Wheels and are probably the favorites to advance, despite the F50 only qualifying in 40th. The red and black Challengers posted similar qualifying times, but both DNF'd on one of their laps. The one thing going for the Mercedes is its 39.4 gram weight, making it the heaviest of the group. Testarossa and Challenger in the front row for lap one. The Challenger comes out of turn one in the lead. He takes the triangle turn on the inside and he wrecks. The Testarossa jumps ahead and the F50 gets wrapped up with the Challenger. The Mercedes fails to get around, but he appears to be on his wheels and will score two points for third. Like so many other leaders this tournament, the Challenger carries too much speed into the triangle and can't maintain control. That was looking to be a great lap after his impressive start, and he'll have to start from the back on lap two. The Ferraris own the front row as they hit the track for the second time. The F50 claims the lead from the outside lane. They enter the triangle in order. The Testarossa attempts a pass on the Challenger, and he can't quite get it done. What a great move, though. The Challenger was able to carry enough speed around the second corner of the triangle to keep the Ferrari from overtaking him. The F50 led the whole way and never looked back. After two laps, he has a one-point lead over the Testarossa. Challenger gets back into the competition with a solid second place finish, but he's three points behind the Testarossa. The Challenger gets a great start and comes out ahead of a bunched up pack. He leads going into the triangle, and though the Testarossa is coming up fast, no one's going to catch him. The F50 with a great block on the Mercedes to hang on to third place in the triangle. Wow, the Challenger was completely up on the wall as he approached the finish line. I gotta wonder if he did that intentionally. As if to taunt the other drivers, he's now reversing back to the finish line. And bam, the F50 doesn't like how he blocked the gate. While track officials get some tempers to settle down, let's look at the standings. After three, the Ferraris are tied for first with nine points each. The Challenger gains some ground with that solid win and sits two points out of round two contention. He'll need another good lap and a poor performance or wreck by a Ferrari to clinch a spot. The Mercedes has been underwhelming and sits at four points. The best he can do now is third, and even that looks unlikely. It's the final lap, and the Challenger leads for the first time. It's close through the hairpins, but the Challenger is out front. He wrecks in turn three. The Challenger's on his roof with the pack fighting to get around him. The Testarossa appears to break out first, and the two Ferraris will easily cruise into round two. Heartbreaking loss for the Challenger, who looked to be racing his way to another lap win. But wow, did he slide far, all the way down the third straightaway and over halfway through the triangle. Though I suppose that's not what you want to be remembered for. <coughs> Lancer Evolution. That's it for Group 8. The Ferraris predictably run away with this one on the back of two wrecks by the Challenger. He'll need a fresh coat of turtle wax to get the scratches out of his roof. Support a local library. If you've enjoyed the racing so far and would like the chance to see your own cars hit our track, I'd like to invite you to participate in the Westfield 500. Our next event is supporting the Westfield Washington Library here in Westfield, Indiana. For a suggested donation of $5 per entry, you can submit an unlimited number of your stock or unmodified cars. All proceeds will be donated to the library, and entries must be received by July 1st of this year. Racing will occur throughout the month of July, and videos will be posted here. This has been Jim D. with Indiana Diecast Racing. Check in again soon 
for more Round 1 action.